Today's video, we're just going to be going over another GM cluster. This is one that a uh, service writer reached out to me and said, Hey, uh, one of my mechanics replaced a couple stepper motors and now it's not working right. Can you take a look? So it sounds like they did a partial repair. They said it works with a, a, a sweep signal from the scan tool, but doesn't work in the truck. But it looks to me like it, uh, yeah, it's got issues. Uh, first thing I noticed, they took the lens off wrong. The mechanic broke the bottom clips of the lens. And also the needles are not pushed down far enough, so you're going to get some light bleed from under the needles. Okay, so, all right, so these are still original. They replaced this, the mile per hour and uh, RPM and trans. They left the original light bulbs in, which they should have just, you know, do it right and replace it all. Well, let's take a look at the uh, solder joints. Hmm. So yeah, we have Oh gosh. All right, so definitely some missing pads. I mean, here the pad's fine, but they didn't even solder it. They just bent the lead over. It's it's not soldered. Same with this too, and this, what the, they... Okay, so this one is soldered, but they didn't even bother soldering. They just pushed it through and bent it over. Oh my, I suppose they pried, if they didn't have a soldering iron, they must have pried the old neater, needles I'm sorry, the old stepper motor's off, which means there could be uh, pry damage on the board. So I'm definitely going to be removing these stepper motors and make sure there isn't uh, traces cut from somebody getting in there with a flathead screwdriver and just prying them off. Okay. This one doesn't look too bad. Kind of the typical missing pads. So there is some pry marks, see some, some scratches here, but luckily they're not very deep, so I'm not worried that they cut into cut into any foil traces. There's a little, little scratch there, a little scratch there, a little scratch there. So they did definitely force the stepper motors out instead of unsoldering them. As far as damage to the solder pads, it looks like only two pads were pulled. So this is not, not too bad. That should be a pretty reasonable repair.
So one of my more common questions people ask me is, what is that clear liquid in the bottle? Uh, it's just rubbing alcohol. Just use it to wash off the flux. And the flux I use is the Amtec. Uh, fold numbers worn off, but it's 559. Actually, here's some right here. 559, yeah, NC No Clean 559 uh, Amtec, which you can get from store.rossmangroup.com. Make sure to use coupon code Jeff Escort LX for 50% off. Ha, uh, just kidding, I made that up. No, but really it is good flux. Alright, let's get the right gauge of solder here. And we will solder what we can. Whatever still has original pads left, we'll start with that. Let's give it a, a quick test. Now, when we started, the RPM gauge was not, not zeroing out. So let's, uh, let's hope that the RPM works now. Now I can understand why they said uh, it was acting intermittent after the repair. That was because the mechanic didn't solder the connections. He just kind of stuck the pins through and folded them over, so that's not going to be a very reliable connection. Now let's hope all these zero out, and I'm going to power it up. Yay! Alright. That's good. Now I can continue. So this repair is just about wrapped up. Bit of a boring one. Uh, wasn't too bad. Did learn a couple things. Or I should say I should point out a couple things. Um, when taking the lens off, start at the top, get a bit of a tilt, it pops off. And then you don't have to get angry at these clips and bust them off. Uh, your needle heights are important too. These weren't seated down far enough, which can allow some light leakage to sneak through. And also if they're too far off, they might even just fall off going down the road if they're not seated tight enough. But you don't want to go too tight because then it drags on the face. And uh, yeah, replace all the light bulbs while you're at it. Replace all the stepper motors while you're at it. Uh, do not pry the stepper motors out. You have to unsolder them and then carefully just pop them out. And then when putting the new stepper motor in, you got to solder all four leads, not just one. Let's check serial data bus communication. Give this thing a reboot. 
Okay, we're talking and we'll check uh, mile per hour and RPM. Got to get it uh, wired up. Try that again. All right, serial data bus is talking and mile per hour and RPM is working. Let's check the trip button. We'll have to uh, give one more reboot. Trip button is good. And all the needle start points are good. So this one is done. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.